it. Now you have that song stuck <laughs> in my head. I can't. We'll sing together. In the middle, in the middle of the night, in my dreams. I can't. That's not is that that is that not song I was singing? No, that was not the song I was singing. <laughs> what were you singing? <laughs> I was singing "Wolves" by One Direction. <laughs> Oh. Are you ready for it? <laughs> um. Hey. In the middle of the night. Yeah, it's are you ready for it, isn't it? Confirm yeah. or deny. Yeah. Okay. It is. We just play song trivia. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> we uh abandon our idea for the episode that we already had and we're just like anyway so we're gonna do song trivia i guess sing the song to each other. <laughs> our end of the episode fun thing is where we do the like you know the tiktok meme where it was like i try not to kill myself is that like morbid that i just said that but you know that sound oh you i know, know that happened? sound yeah um the whole entire thing behind that was like people like put the karaoke up and like they don't see what the words are but they try to sing oh. the words and see we just That's start doing so- that I think we should do that one day. <laughs> just for fun. We should. Do, can you get copyrighted from that? We don't make any money doing this anyway. No, I was just saying, like, what next time we hang out, I think we should just do it for fun. Oh, no, we should. And we should make it into a TikTok and make people oh, laugh. Oh, yeah. That'd be so fun. Okay. Um, anyway. Any- hey, guys. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back to Bookmark. Welcome back, everyone. I can't believe you guys are back. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> what a lovely day we're having. Lovely day lovely day lovely day lovely day. are you making up song? your own songs no that's a babe that's uh, a song oh that's a song <laughs> i don't think i've ever heard that it's like an iconic song oh it's just one look at you and i know it's gonna be a lovely lovely day lovely day oh yeah. wait i mean i don't know maybe i do know it you You're gonna play it day? <laughs> i just start playing it i'm like Hold on, let me get the chorus. Yeah, get the chorus. I think I do know it, actually. This is such a you <laughs> song. Like, you I would listen to that I just get us copyrighted. <laughs> I just spent the first three minutes of the episode singing a bunch of different songs, but hello, everybody. We already said hello, but hello, welcome back to Bookmarked. This is Bookmarked. Welcome back. Um, you're in the right place if you were looking for Bookmarked with Sarah and Des. If you were looking for a third party to add to this podcast, there isn't one. So it's just me uh-uh. and Sarah. That's what you got today. <laughs> it's what you got, got disappointed. It's just me and Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so take it or leave it, y'all. I don't know what to tell you guys. I hope but you anyway. take it. <laughs> hope you what's, take it. <laughs> what, what's your dote? What are you drinking today? Uh, what am I Monday? drinking? I don't know. It seems like I'm doing something, I guess. Um, anyway... <laughs> I have a new flavor of Alani unlocked. Ooh. New flavor unlocked. This is the blue slush opposed to a cherry slush. Do you like this it? This is what I was going with. Yeah. It's like what would you what would you rate it? Uh, I would rate it a nine. If I can oh. drink if I can drink the whole entire thing, it's like a nine to a ten. Oh. That's amazing. Also the trash truck is just out in the street. I don't know why they didn't read the sign that said podcast in the recording. <laughs> but we're just gonna have to deal with it. I need what's, to put your, that on. what's your dough? I'm actually drinking, um, <laughs> I've been drinking this all morning. This is my third cup? Four? I don't know. Pineapple juice. I'm getting my wisdom teeth out tomorrow. I, I saw, I literally was going to screenshot the <laughs> comment that somebody left on our podcast that were like, mm-hmm. Sarah, drink pineapple juice. I've heard, I've seen TikToks that that actually works, that that's like yeah, an actual I've heard. thing. I've been chugging it all day, just 100% pineapple juice and really praying that it helps me out because I do not want to be swollen. My cheeks are already big and I don't want, I don't know. I'm already stressed over it, so let us know if it works let us know if it works queen i will and i don't really like pineapples so pineapple juice is delicious though i love pineapple juice i at sam's club you can go and they just have like cans of pineapple juice like in like a 36 pack and i always just want to buy it because i just want to drink pineapple juice you should it's really good and this one it came in like a can so i used like a can opener open it's just a big tub of pineapple juice and i'm halfway through it so. sarah just goes so my drink of the episode and just cast the whole entire show. i should have brought it up i should have i've been it's like halfway through I've, I've like drinking a good majority of it dang i know slay on your part also Thank you. I'll, I'll let you know if it works uh, um can't wait can't wait for you to get your wisdom teeth out tomorrow my mom i heard her on the phone this morning she was on the phone with her friend and she said that she told them that i was getting my wisdom teeth out and she was like i'm gonna have to have my camera out she's like letting them know <laughs> she's gonna be recording me sarah told me that i have to uh 
do this little video for her. So I'm going to no. do it. Is that what my mom sounds like? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I didn't even tell her to record anything. I think she's just excited. Aw. I love Sarah's mom. Sarah's, shout out to Sarah's mom. Oh. She calls Destiny Desi. Yeah, no one, she I don't, calls me does Desi. Anyone, does anyone call you Desi? Um, does she say like Desi or Desi? No, Desi. But she spells my, it D E S I. <laughs> it's funny because growing up, my mammal and like everybody on my mom's side of the family, like, called me Desi, like D E Z Z Y, like Desi. Uh, hey, yeah. Desi. Like, it was like, like randomly. My mom it was that. like a random thing. Like, no one else in my life has ever called me that. And every yeah. time I go over there, they're like, How you doing, Desi? I'm like, I get so like discombobulated. I'm like, Oh, <laughs> hey. Because usually it's just like, Hey, Des. Yeah. Or like, Hey, D. <laughs> D. Oh, my God. Yeah. I don't think I would ever. Like, call you d no, you don't know my like best friend lexi just des- designated that d was like her nickname for me and she would like call me d she'd be like what's up d like whatever say that to me and in high school if anybody tried to call me d she literally was like gonna rip somebody's head off she was like you're not allowed to call her that and yeah but um can we address the elephant in the room i don't where's the elephant <laughs> what's the elephant <laughs> is the elephant in the room with us is even he? here <laughs> um no i was saying that i feel like people are going to want us to talk about speak now taylor's version oh oh my god i was like what elephant yeah we could talk about it you want to chit chat <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why i just <laughs> okay <laughs> okay let's do it so what were our first impressions <laughs> um i'm gonna be so honest oh be so honest i didn't think it like i don't think it's my favorite it's my one of my favorite al- like original albums of hers but i don't think it's my favorite like vault track like re-recording of hers yet and i know okay. that's gonna hurt you because this is your favorite okay but the vault tracks are great i just like personally they're not my my favorite i don't know i think they just sound from her like when she recorded it so young to her like recording it at like 30 something it's just i don't know i don't know thing, how to explain it i get what you're saying in here let me explain this before you guys go into tax air in the comments because i will <laughs> I be a warrior no i still love it no when you're entitled to the opinion because i will always support t swift okay oh, i will yeah. always support her in her re-recording her album i will not go back to listening to the original version even though bestie i didn't care about the lyric and better than revenge you could have kept it and i understand because it's not very girl supporting girls but (laughs) my thing is is that i think what's missing it isn't that her vocals are more mature it's that there was a lot more emotion in the original yeah maybe that's what like disconnect because when she first wrote it yes and i feel that because like when i listen to dear john excuse me back to december dear john i know that everyone talks about those songs but genuinely i've said this before that when i was younger and speak now was my favorite album and i had the cd of it that i would put in my gray little record uh no cd what's it called whatever cd player i had a radio little player yeah and i would sit on my floor and act out back to december and i would sing (laughs) dear john laying on my floor acting like i had been i was like eight or nine like yeah i did that i went through speak now i pretended that i was breaking up the wedding yeah that was my (laughs) favorite to god's play (laughs) no that's what i mean so for somebody that was like a back to december and uh dear john girly like literally will scream sing that song it is missing the emotion especially dear john because obviously like it's not she's not 19 anymore and it seems that this situation doesn't affect her as much as it did when she was 19 which we love that for her i'm so happy that this isn't something that is still like heavily affecting her into her age i'm happy that she got to move on from it but like for example with like red taylor's version i think that that's the best like yeah. re-release of an album that taylor but i feel like maybe because it some of that stuff was maybe more recent that she's still probably like yeah, unpacking I don't know what and dealing it with. I still like because, all like, of it. The, all of the hello, things, like, they're all good. Hello, all too well 10 minute version, girl. Yeah, like, you can't really top it right now. And also, I wish I would have got a Dear John 10 minute version, but it's okay. I understand <laughs> that you like don't feel that way anymore, but I think What's that your favorite? is like... What? No, finish that thought. No, I just forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, you're I mean, okay. That's what your favorite vault from that one my favorite like what's my favorite vault album or favorite no vault no from song? speak now oh the favorite vault song let me look at yeah. them i think timeless that's a cute one because as soon as i was like in my car listening to it and then i was listening to it and i was like oh this is so cute like i want to make a little like real like a little relationship real with this song it's like so cute yeah. but i also like what is it uh 
I can see you. I can see you. That one's my favorite. Did you see my comment on somebody's post? Was it on yeah. your TikTok? And I was like, Sarah, is this girl reading on my Yeah, I think I yeah, I made a TikTok <laughs> to the I Can See You sound. And the other day when I was listening to the album, I think it was when it came out. I don't know what day it was, but I texted Destiny. Actually, se- okay, I'll say the story first. But I texted Destiny and I was like, I sent her a screenshot. I Can See You. And I was like, go read these lyrics and tell me this doesn't remind you exactly of By a Thread by Lucy Score. Because I was listening to the songs and there's everything that was like they were saying. It just literally just exactly like the book. So I also sent that to Lucy Score. She never answered me. I've never got a, an answer in, in our DMs before. But I was so excited. I was like, I don't know if you're a Swifty, but I need to tell you how important and passionate I am about this song in this book. So if you want to go listen to the song. Lucy Score, <laughs> if you're watching, so I know you are. <laughs> Please reply to Sarah's DM. Please tell me that you agree. But yeah, it that's would my mean favorite. A I think because it's like fun. It's like a bop. So. It is a bop. I I I just love emotional songs though. I will never yeah. like like because to me that song's very like when she does like her pop hit. Mm-hmm. Like that seems like it'll be like the pop hit. Yeah. Um I just like the more like emotional like well, Yeah. What's the other one? Foolish? I like foolish. Yeah. I don't like good. the uh cat is it Castle's Crumbling? Yeah, I honestly think I like listened to that one like twice. I don't really like that one. There's always a few like what is the Phoebe Bridger song on Red? To this oh, version that I just don't I, I don't yeah. really like that song. It's okay. I don't have to sometimes like it. Sometimes I listen to new songs and it takes me a little to like like sometimes like first time I was in the Harry's house when that one came out, my least favorite when it first came out are some of my favorite ones now. So you have to like grow on yeah. me. I think. Yeah, and that's the thing too because there's been a lot of Taylor Swift songs that like when I've listened to the album, I'm like, mm, like it's probably like one of my least like played yeah. songs. Like for example, on Folklore, Seven is like was one of my like least played songs. I was like, mm, don't really like it. Th- like the yeah. I think since like March, I have loved that song. And then somebody commented, and I would like made a TikTok just singing that song. And somebody was like, every time I listen to the song, it reminds me of like Lily singing to Low. Aww. guys tears were shed the literal <laughs> lyric where it's like i've been meaning to tell you i mm-hmm. think your house is haunted your dad is always my i was like i want to go <laughs> roll myself up in a carpet and run into a lake <laughs> like, that's how i felt about betty that was like my least played from that album <laughs> when it came out and i love that song so and much then, and then i literally dropped the bomb on sarah i was like does this make you think uh if you had been with me does that yeah. make- does that that's all like, I think about when I listen to it. Oh, oh no, same. God. One day I was singing it in the car and I was like really, really singing it. And whenever my, I'm like sitting with my mom in the car and I'm like really singing the song, she's like, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we singing it this hard? And I was like, it's just like, if you understood, you would understand. Yeah, you have to <laughs> get you, into it. That is our new saying. If, if you, you get understood, it, you, get you would understand. <laughs> 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 but exactly. yeah, I've seen a lot of discourse over Speak Now Taylor's version. And I think what I see the most is just like people saying that, like, I absolutely love it. Okay. I've been listening to it on repeat, like when I'm in the oh, car. Oh yeah, me too. But I will just say it is lacking the emotion. And I do miss the better than revenge lyric. <laughs> i miss it i'm a human i'll say it i wish that well back to december i think is fine like i didn't really i I think it's really like dear john like when people listen to dear john i think they thought it's gonna have like emotion like all too well 10 minute version did and like she made a whole entire music video one music video of the year i think people were expecting kind of like a lot from it i think that's because she like the whole reason that she said like don't like say yeah. anything to him like she, i don't think she wanted it to be bigger than it really was because it was yeah. so long ago which tells me this babe are you listening taylor swift are you tuning <laughs> in um like do we hate jake gyllenhaal that much i i don't like him i don't like him i don't i don't like him i refuse to I watch ha- spider-man long way home because of it <laughs> um <laughs> why do i not like i don't like john more i hate john because he the fact that you want to like manipulate and like groom a 19 year old being like her birthday sucks her birthday day sucks like you were literally you're a grown man a grown man did you go to his comments the night before we came out yeah (laughs) oh i loved them oh they were so funny i just want to let john mayer know to count your days and also jake (laughs) gyllenhaal because and the thing about jake gyllenhaal is like but think about it he must have done some like very messed up stuff he got a 10 minute version of a song he got a music video where she straight up was like detailing kind of like some of the stuff that she went through with him jake john hall you give me the ick and you're the worst (laughs) and you heard it here first folks so we stand taylor lautner i guess oh my god what we're trying to say (laughs) i um because it released on friday speak now released on friday Yeah, yeah it was friday 
Friday night, Saturday. So Saturday I was listening to it and then me and Isaac go to Cracker Barrel <laughs> Saturday Aww. morning and we're sitting there and the girl like was around my age. That was like the waitress and she had a 13 on her hand and the Cincinnati show was last weekend, I think. I Yeah, I think it was last weekend. And uh, I look at her. She's like, hey, what can I get you guys to drink? And I go, I love that you have the 13 on your hand. And Isaac's like, doesn't even know what this means. Like, this is like so Swifty coded. Like, if you know, you know. And so I was like, oh, I love that. And she goes, oh, thanks. I just went to the show. And then she could tell by the look of my face. And I was like, how was it? And she was like, oh, it was amazing. It was magical. Did you go? And I said, no, I didn't go. Oh, I didn't get God. tickets. And please don't bring it up because I, I will admit I did cry. I did cry about it the other day whenever the cincinnati show was i did actually spend a day in my bed sobbing because i wanted to go so bad but i didn't want to spend that much money on tickets and so we were talking and i was like oh yeah and she was like did you see who she brought out last night we both said taylor lautner at the same time it was a super cute interaction literally Aww. and isaac's just sitting there like <laughs> doesn't know what we're talking about and i was like he did a backflip like whatever i love taylor lautner i love him, I so, love much. him so much He's and the king. fact that she put him in the music video to be like the hero of the music video so he could feel like he finally like defended Aww. and protected her no i love him that and was somebody, great. but you know what guys i want to say this when people are like his wife is so strong because i couldn't imagine it's called maturity that some of you seem to be lacking it's they called maturity like over 10 years ago and for like three four months wasn't it no yeah it was like very it was for a very short amount short of time lived. <laughs> uh and also like he's married he's happily married she loves taylor the oh, yeah. three taylors like listen if my <laughs> husband dated taylor swift and had a song written about him i would play that song around the house like i would absolutely love it look at sophie turner she literally posted mr yeah. perfectly fine <laughs> it like, was so she's, funny she literally and she's a swifty at heart then joe jonas made it off the bad x list let's all clap yeah. for him because he could be <laughs> he could be the jake gyllenhaal but he's not and literally the fact that she wrote the line like oh, i send their babies presents like because of joe jonas and sophie is so so cute and it's called mature it's called growth let's not sit there and try to be like oh his wife is so strong and make a problem where there's not a problem i just hate when people do that it's weird it's just weird it's odd like we don't need to do that and sarah looking at me like <laughs> <laughs> no i'm letting you go at it go for no you're <laughs> Say what sarah you i looked into the camera and sarah was like <laughs> 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 no but i have been seeing that but whenever um also you guys didn't understand because people thought it was from a twilight reference that he did the backflip the reference is if you guys have ever watched the rom-com valentine's day which i watch every single valentine's day i love that movie so much and in it because taylor swift and taylor lautner in it and they were dating at the time he like they're doing a little like news interview for the school like they're in high school and then she's like he's an amazing athlete go show him and like he does like a backflip like he does like, well, that's funny backflips so people are like thinking i don't know i just feel like he did a backflip i just feel like yeah he, did he knows how to backflip too. yeah i just feel like it's like one of those things like a party trick like and we were watching me and Isaac were watching grown-ups too this weekend and taylor lautner's in grown-ups too and he does like 15 backflips mm -hmm. i'm like what is it with this man and i'm back oh he loves them <laughs> he loves them and it's so honestly so cute but yeah i am obsessed with this era that we're in um with speak now tv and taylor lautner and we all love and appreciate him so much we love you taylor preach preach preaching to the choir but yeah we had to, i mean it was the elephant in the room i know people were gonna i know that as soon as the album came out people were like what do sarah and us <laughs> that's the last thing people were thinking it was the question around the world like people were like oh my god i wonder what sarah and us think about this <laughs> but um also i have another thing that's like big what is threads can so i know sarah oh explained god. it to me <laughs> You just came at us <laughs> like what you guys friends? are all you guys are all posting threads and i don't know what it is and then sarah was like well it's basically like instagram's version of twitter i was like i hate twitter why yeah. is everyone asking me what my threads is why I'm is everyone on like i don't think to i'm gonna get me? it no, no. I, it's literally if you went on twitter but it's just it's the same thing i think it's just different colors and it's just made by instagram like you could i think once you log on it just connects with your instagram and yeah, everyone you follow does. on there you follow on through. I don't know, but I'm not going on it. And I don't like Twitter. And I'm I, new social medias hurt my brain. I yes. get overwhelmed. I'm good where I'm at. Unless it becomes like the biggest thing ever. Sure, I'll <laughs> download it. But no, listen, like you won't I, catch me on there. 
No, I looked at Isaac because Isaac has a threads, and I went, yeah, "What's Chris threads?" Too. I'm like, "What are you doing on there?" No, and I was like, "What is threads?" And he was like, "Oh, it's just like a new thing." And then I said, "Well, I'm not getting it." Like I even said it like that. I said, "Why am I getting?" It? He goes, "Destiny, why are you trying to be different so bad? Like, why are you just get it?" Like he was like, "You're just trying it on purpose." And I said, "And I am." and i am because i don't even like twitter in the first place and yeah. elon musk is throwing a fit over it and the only thing that makes me want to get threads is to just make elon musk mad but yeah, i'm not it, gonna do it it's like a whole thing i feel like it's either gonna be really big or it's just gonna die down i'm like i don't really want it right now i don't really want to i don't know maybe i'll download it i don't like that it connects to your instagram like you see like yeah. the number you are on your bio i think that's so weird i don't know i thought it was like a I thought it was like a clothing thing that people were doing. It's like threads, like thread up, you know? Like yeah. Also, sponsor us thread up if you want. Um, it's, it's cool, though, if you're on it. If you're on more it, more power, power to you. you. And if, guys, listen, if you guys really I want me and Sarah too. on you didn't there. Even catch it. What? We both said more power to you at the same time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think I, I've never said that in my life. So that I just don't. came out. <laughs> it's like what did i say the other day i said a saying and i don't i can't remember so that story was useless i'm sorry mm-hmm. for you wasting your guys' time do you watch love island no but i saw oh. your vlog that you're very upset that something happened to a couple that you were oh, rooting well, for i'm like kind of okay now i wish you watched it so we could talk about it but yeah how many we episodes caught up are out right now 30 oh okay <laughs> me and chris binged all of them in like a few days like it goes so quick but I'm all I'm caught up now. I'm so excited to watch the new one. I was literally like, you know what? I'll sit down and I'll watch it. That way it's you so can tell good. me. I've, yeah, can you? <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. It's, I shall. It's so good. The season is so good. But I don't want to say what couple I was talking about because I don't know if anyone's everyone's caught up. But like something happened and it was like crazy and I was so sad. But like it's fixed now. Oh, I wish it's I like could a say. thing it's, though. Like Love Island is a thing. It's been a thing for years. Like I know. Oh, yeah. Is it the UK version? yeah i watch like all of them but the one on right now is uk yeah and like i because i was watching like some girl's vlog and she was talking about love island like a few months ago i think like when the season started mm-hmm. and i was like wow people really like love love island like me and oh. isaac watched oh, the u.s cool season like the first u.s season like a few yeah, months ago u.s isn't that good no and then but we were watching it and he literally i kid you not because like me and Isaac can't really sit down and watch any type of like TV shows or movies. So we watch dating shows because they're yeah, so dramatic and do. fun. <laughs> it's the only thing and we can so, watch. <laughs> yes. And so we were watching, we had just finished Ultimatum, Marry or Move On, basically. Also, that show, Wild. Wild. What is it? I don't think it's I've ever called heard that. Ultimatum, Marry or Move On. The premise of the show is that it would be like, say you're in a relationship and you want to get married, but then Chris is like, oh no, I'm not ready to get married. Like, I don't want to get married. So then you go on a reality TV show where it's a bunch of other couples who are in the same boat where one of them wants to get married, the other one doesn't. You all basically date each other and <laughs> figure out if you want to marry that person. You shouldn't because, get married if you even no, consider going on I the show. I wouldn't even be on the show. If I was in like, <laughs> and some of these people are in like six plus year relationships and they're going on the show, babe, you will do anything except break up with them. Like That's just insane. break yeah. up with them. Because I if I, I told Isaac this, I think I literally said this in my vlog the other day. I was like, if I had to go on that show, one, I wouldn't be on the show. But if I went on the show mm-hmm. and had to watch my boyfriend like date oh, other women yeah. i would i would go to jail the havoc i would, I would actually <laughs> go to jail me too I, me the too. fact that yeah. i would never do that i just would never because i'm like no. no no i think that me and chris tried to watch a show like that once and i was like i can't even watch this right now i was like the the, the thought of what everyone's doing on the show is really not sitting well with oh, me no but and it's, it's fun it's so they're all just like dating yeah. each other and <laughs> they're all just the uk when you think UK about it though best. They're all just dating each other, especially with Love Island. I've never been like into The Bachelor, but I knew like when people were like really into The Bachelor. Yeah, I didn't. I used to watch it in like high school. I don't really like it anymore. It's definitely not the same as it was. But oh no, I Love Island just Bachelor. the drama is perfect. <laughs> I like, love it so much. What was the show that everyone was talking about that everybody was literally talking about like a few oh. weeks ago? Oh, a few weeks ago. Yeah, was the Love Is Blind? I've never watched that, but that's like no. a popular one. It was know. like. So, oh my god the name is escaping me was it a reality it like, dating show yes it was like the guy like people were sort of like hosting watch parties and everything like everyone was oh. obsessed and it was like the guy like played this girl and like 
I don't even know. Oh my was god! It, like, I don't. I know this one that's called F Boy Island. <laughs> I watched a Cody Go video on that. <laughs> oh yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Just you simply going. I don't know what you're talking about. Let no. me. I won't look it up anyway. I'll like. All right. <laughs> me just being okay. like, I won't look. It. I just don't want to spend so much time of me looking it up. But oh, yeah. I wish we had a producer. <laughs> because <laughs> you know like when you watch the Zayden Heath podcast yeah, like, have, um, what's his name what's his in the name? back yeah what's his name's in the back like looking uh-huh. at stuff they're all looking at the TV I wish we had a producer us what's not even name? living in the same state sorry I was trying to think of his name I was just listening no, same. to the podcast and he was no, talking the name just popped in my brain and then it just left what's his name <laughs> Zayden Heath Matt Maria and is that with a J I feel like it does. Jordan. His name is Jordan. Jordan. Yes. <laughs> Jordan. Jordan is like the producer. Yeah, like he, he like, like sits over there and like searches stuff for them. Yeah. And like I wish we had that because then we would have the answer. But we don't. So whatever. We don't. But. You could search it if you want though. <laughs> okay. I'll search it. <laughs> God. What was it called? I don't know. The only reality one we're watching right now is Levan. It's got so good. They're in Casa Amor. Do you know what Casa Amor is? No. It's when they like split the villa up like halfway through the season and the boys stay at one place or like stay in the villa and then the girls all go to another villa yeah. called Casa or wherever and they send in six new boys and six new girls and the original ones like they can't talk to each other and they have to see if they want new connections and then at the end they have to recouple so either you can stay with your couple or be with someone new and the drama that comes from it is crazy so i think the recoupling is tonight's episode and i'm gonna go oh wait yeah crazy. when they recouple yeah because me and isaac watched that and it was like every time they had to recouple i was always like oh it's so good <laughs> have you ever watched too hot to handle no i just don't vibe with that one i don't think is that the one where watched, like you can't kiss or whatever yeah, for like, like they think that they're like, going you can't like go a, a month without kissing I'm like no <laughs> literally i'm like I'm you guys sorry. have to be like the most whatever people alive <laughs> like because me and isaac were watching it one day and i said the fact that like i i would be throwing hands with some of these people on the show <laughs> genuinely i would be like but i think the whole point of it is like they are purposely taking people that are like super sexual i guess but yeah it's like the and point of it i guess but it's because just I don't you like have it. to like it's whoever changes the most wins or at least that's how it was the season that i watched it which also the season that i watched it emily and cam if you guys have watched that they didn't win spoiler alert they didn't win and they should have won because they're still together to this day oh and they a were couple both, came like, out of it yes like oh, cam nice. was a major f boy and he like met emily and like they are still together to this day i follow both Aww. of them on tiktok like oh, i'm happy for them and the guy who won they broke up immediately like of they course. broke up immediately i was like of course well you can of find course. love on all these dating shows so as, mo- you can. as much as we're coming at these shows like it works sometimes or like uh who is it molly and what's his molly face May. tommy fury i didn't want actually their season I think I watched like some of it and then I didn't like some of the people that were on it. So I stopped watching, but love them. Or <laughs> like, do you, them. have you seen like Monet on TikTok? Yeah. Her and that guy that was on Love Island. Yeah. I watched people. I watched people this season. People have been like dragging up like when he was on his season and he was kind of like, whatever, you know, I don't know. I didn't watch his season, so I don't know, <laughs> but I guess that was that so he long was kind ago. Of, his season was not yeah, recent. And like so. when you watch his TikToks, he is so devoted and in, so in love with Monet. Yeah. Like he's oh, really love always, and it's like so unfair that people are like, remember when he was on Love Island? It's like, have you again, we're sure coming yeah. back, growth and maturity. Have you guys ever heard of it? Because people <laughs> can do it. People can do it. And yeah, he did I don't it. Know. Yeah, yeah. It was different. It was different when he was on Love Island. I am still trying to look this up. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I can't do you remember. want me to find it? Are you just talking about like a love reality show? No, hold you on. I think it's keep talking Netflix? and I think I'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> keep talking. Okay, well, let me I talk go, about... You, I go, you just solo <laughs> podcast. Um, What did I do today? Oh, I picked up my new print actually i put if you guys if any of you watched my vlog i don't know if anyone did but i put up prints i want to put on my wall and i ended up getting one for between my bookshelves and i'm really excited about this because it's a magnolia park themed one and the one that i showed in the in the vlog was a bright pink and i didn't want pink so i messaged the seller and she was so sweet and she was sending me all these little mock-ups of different colors i wanted and i got a print so i'll show you if you're watching like the, the video Vanderbilt. version 
Is that what it's called? Oh, Vanderpump Rules? Vanderpump. That's what it was. Okay, sorry. Is it, is it Rules? Did I just make that up? I think it is Rules. I don't know. Vander, I, just, I never watched that, but the drama is apparently like insane. Not, not joke. No, okay. So to end that chapter and then let Sarah speak again. Sorry, <laughs> but if I didn't like <laughs> no, say it out okay. loud. Uh, Vanderpump, when people were talking mm-hmm. about that. I don't think, I don't know what it's about. All I, I saw like one TikTok of it and this guy was like going feral. No, people, I, it, I've never watched a single episode and it was coming up on my For You page. Like people, Yeah, like, me too. But yeah, anyway, so I you heard your really print. good. You didn't oh, want did. hot pink. Sarah did text did me last it. night, guys, and I think that I was the deciding factor for this Thank art print. Thank God, because I I can't make decisions for the life of me. <laughs> no, she I, really can't. The anything. fact that it I took me care. one second. Sarah sent it, and I said, well, I kind of like the like eggshell one because I don't like stark white. And you're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you know how long i was staring at those and I, the the seller was like answering pretty quick too sending me whatever and i like wasn't answering so i replied I was like i'm so sorry i'm trying to picture these on my wall right now like g- give me a second <laughs> i love that about sarah though she she thinks so intuitively about every single thing that she does and i am the type to buy and then think about it and then go i probably shouldn't have bought that you know yeah, like well, but at least sarah I was thinks gonna about buy it. both i was gonna buy both just to see because i felt by making her white but then thank god i asked you because i would not have made the decision then i asked yeah. chris and he was like the white one's kind of plain i was like okay you could have told me that well, like, like a half i don't hour like now. stark white like i don't like when anything's yeah. just like white i just don't like it yeah M- me having white walls <laughs> here's the poster wait i'm gonna show you you already got it yeah she it's like a download so i just went to staples oh it's and a I download printed it there. yeah mm. came i got it last night and i printed it today but my frame for it comes tomorrow so hold on oh okay <laughs> it's the unboxing guys dun, 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 dun. look at that how's the weather parks that is so cute i love little Bur- burke book merch like that that is like simplistic art yeah, style so that people just think it's like a piece of art and don't yeah, know wait, it's a book it's from if anyone's wondering before people start commenting where it's from it's from aspen print co on etsy and she has different colors but i asked her to change the colors and she was really nice about it so i'm sure if you ask it was so sweet and that's what i got i don't have any that i want to put above my bed yet that's a whole nother journey i have to take but this one's gonna go next to my shelves and i'm so excited i am very excited to see what that looks like i can't wait to see thank you so much i will i will send you pictures. genuinely i yeah. literally have posters everywhere in my room the posters behind me the posters by my window seat the posters <laughs> in front do. of me well if i asked you where you got all yours when i first was looking so, so I, I, literally, inspo. I will go on the literary loft and if i see that she mm-hmm. like got new posters i will literally just buy them and i'll find room for them later okay yeah, so i, I get the beach just- read one that she that you have and that she put but it was too like i feel like my room's not colorful enough for it like i'm like, welcome to I North told Shores. Last night. yeah i told destiny okay, last the one I'm, like, I'm, I'm too staring boring. at it right now it's right in front yeah. of my face. <laughs> i told destiny i'm too boring for like bright colors in my room that's why i needed like the neutral i couldn't get the pink poster i needed like a tan one i like but the well i was about to say i don't think that you like your one of your fake i don't know what yeah i would say because like i have a lily and low poster and a reich and daisy poster and those are kind of neutral with colors mm. um but still like mm. yeah but that's what i was saying i was like yeah, that's not like your faves so yeah that's okay i don't know i have the carrie soda one is pretty plain i wish i loved akatar like you love akatar because oh my god i get every so etsy many prints. S- no literally every etsy seller has thousands for akatar series it's so crazy every oh, single I one i clicked it. on has so many for them speaking of that i'm very fast to support small businesses especially like apparel wise i feel like i'm more apparel wise yeah like yeah also i saw that you opened a p.o box in your vlog and i've been thinking about opening a p.o box i did, did you open it? yeah it was it was really easy actually i just went on the post office website and you opened it there but i had to go in to get like the keys and stuff and yeah i'm not like posting my p.o box like address anywhere but if anyone wants to like send me stuff like, like when i get like gems like to send me a bookmark or whatever i'm gonna send that instead of like my address i think i'm like yeah yeah but it was really easy I tried to open a P.O. box last year and I went into the post office and I swear I think that this is a lie. 
Like, I swear. What? I went in there and I went to open one. I said, can I open a P.O. box? And they said, we need three forms of mail in your name to open it. Oh, and yeah. I, was like, I had to bring in my license and well, it had to be like a photo ID and a non-photo ID. So it was my license. And I think I did my car registration or something like that. Yeah. Like they need like whatever and he kept he was asking me like what is this for what is this for i was like it's my business i'm not gonna tell him people are sending me bookmarks and whatever i would just be like <laughs> personal i yeah. just needed the a person, p.o box when i went to staples to get this printed she was opening it to show me it and then she was reading she's like how's the weather and i was like oh it's from my friend's favorite book like this is for her as a gift i literally couldn't tell her what it was for i could not get not the words Sarah out. literally going this is for my friend this isn't even mine <laughs> this is for my friend like oh my god i was so embarrassed i couldn't say that it was mine and then she was like, are no. you single? She was like, my manager um, just got his heart broken. And you guys would look cute together. I go, I'm happily in a relationship. Thank you. And then she pointed to her manager was right behind her. It's like, this is getting too much now. I'm gonna I would have died of embarrassment. I would have literally been like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so I would have been like, I'm good. Thank you so much. I don't need somebody yeah. to match make for me. But um, <laughs> I've been buying. Oh, okay. I have followed this Instagram account called biblio style co i'm pretty sure and what her oh no just kidding she has like she does the embroidered sweatshirts and she has like the cutest designs oh also threaded by sabrina is releasing mm. um god what book series is it fourth wing fourth wing she's getting licensing. Oh, she is yes oh my god she's I such a queen she's, she is, i love her stuff she so much them out like it's nothing oh my god yeah. i love her so much anyway but this like they do the same kind of like embroidered crew necks except they sell out like that and they do Ooh. restocks like every two to three months i happened no. to stumble upon them doing a restock the other day i set an alarm and it was like the hunger games like what literally was like the hunger what print games. was it like what it was like just she has like embroidered sweatshirts like she does the same thing kind of where it's like she does like different books but she mm -hmm. does like a select like she has like it's it's hard to explain like i think they have a lot of designs but then they like restock certain designs and so i think i got like a crew neck that says like paperback i got a happy place shirt where it's up. like a it's like a t-shirt and it's set it's yellow and it has like the rodeo remember the oh, scene where they go to the rodeo yeah and then i got the the Valer no i got the illyrian mountain one i think from akatar wait and you got I this got, paperback one yeah the paperback like paperback whatever and oh, then i also got so the cute. illyrian mountain and then the one where it says rodeo from happy place i got that t-shirt and then i also got the t-shirt with the world on it oh i just saw that wait i want the one that the beach read one the yellow one yeah i'm gonna go see if they're sold out i think they are or no. if they're not <laughs> i'm telling you sells out like nothing like sells out within like a few minutes restock is september 8th that's what no, that's what I'm telling you. They restock like every two months and I happen no. to stumble upon. I stumbled upon it. And the thing is, is that I was like, okay, did you see this sweatshirt that says like not, I think it says like something and it's like from Happy Place and it has like the little lobster embroidered right here. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It was between that and it was between the Illyrian like mountain camp thing. And I literally, I was like, I have to go with Akatar. I have to, yeah, I have to get that yeah. crew neck. Like, and I'm thinking about the fall time. I was thinking about the fall time. I've been thinking about the fall time. I know I complained in an earlier podcast <laughs> that like, I think that girly should stop talking about fall. Mm. But I think that we should, you know, discuss it. Well, so I've been getting it and I got those and I'm so happy. She has some um, paperback ones. That's the only thing that's still available on the website right now. Yeah. Paperback hardback. That's it. Oh my God. I need to put an alarm on for September 8th because I need, yes. I, I need all of it. <laughs> no, really, I'm telling actually. you, I literally, I didn't even think. I just add, add to car, add to car, yeah, add to car as fast I knew. as I could. Something about us is we will buy. No. Bookish and then I also. <laughs> oh, where is it at? I'm, oh I my think. God, wait. Did you see the, um, this is another one that I really like. I got my Magnolia Park sweatshirt from them. Um, it's called Shop shop house of jupiter have you seen them yes so you showed me their account they're coming out with um happy place sweatshirt and t-shirt and hats or whatever and i'm really 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 excited on july 14th they're coming out and the one that's like the crew neck it just says not not some harbor maine but it says you're on all my happy places and the blue color of this crew neck is perfect and i need it when does it come out um july 14th <laughs> That's so, Friday. That's Friday? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That's soon. 
I'm oh my god you need to remind me like that's coming it. out i also ordered okay. i found i was scrolling through my bookstagram like explore page and i found Knox plus luna shout out them if they're listening um <laughs> they do like they i think it's like a boutique but they also sell like akatar stuff so i bought a rita's nightclub t-shirt because it's like the little bar that they go to and yeah. i bought a tote that says a character's library <laughs> I'm not gonna say the character because you haven't read that book yet um okay. and then high lady of the night court i got a girl uh-huh. that says that. That's me cute. cosplaying as Feyre. but <laughs> shout out to those small businesses also threaded by sabrina if you're listening to this i yeah, cannot we wait love for you. you to release i love you and i can't wait for you to release the fourth wings i'm buying it immediately i'm, I'm so literally gonna be the first person on your website i'm so freaking excited for it oh my god thank you so much for making it <laughs> let me make sure it's the fourth wing one <laughs> <laughs> you just said I, like, the wrong doubt, information. I doubt myself with everything so let me just make sure let me fact check myself but do you want to get into what the main part of the episode is oh yeah i was gonna ask you what you're reading do you have anything oh, do you're you want reading to, do you want me to talk about what i'm reading yeah i do because i need some, <gasps> some inspo so oh no she is Please. look at it i don't i see yeah it's like it says it says wing leader fourth wing and then it has the main guy's like name on the sleeve right here with the heart oh that's cute me that's like the one she made for reckless i really want to get that one it's like the prettiest orange color i think i need it i don't have any sweatshirts in that color i don't need any more sweatshirts but i will happily get more no i need it i always need more sweatshirts but um what i'm reading right now um oh i'm reading divine rivals i'm reading aqua war and i'm also reading a third book for a video (laughs) got a lot wow (laughs) got a lot going on here i love it uh first impressions of divine rivals i hate it and um i'm just kidding (laughs) i I will start crying (laughs) (laughs) i want to see your face no i actually really like the writing style and i like the guy's point of view in it like the like what little snippets that we're getting um i'm really liking it so far and i like that it's a fantasy but it's a simplistic fantasy so if you guys are kind of wanting to get into like a magical realism world i would 100 percent from oh, yeah. so There's far no, like, reading divine building. rivals yeah okay i would read that I, my, what are you reading my regular cover came <gasps> Soleil. i had to get that um i actually am not reading anything that's why i need help because i just finished a book i just read okay. um belladonna by adeline grace oh yeah i asked you about that the other day how was that it was it was good <laughs> you don't have to lie that the the high tone of your voice told me everything that i need to know <laughs> because every review i saw is like five stars and i feel like i missed the i it's missed okay. the mark it's okay what i you gave it, it like 3.75 and that is that a real feeling or is that like a, i feel like i should be rating it higher okay i was gonna give it a three <laughs> but i liked the ending so i like okay. kind of gave it up a little more maybe do a three and a half then maybe <laughs> <laughs> i'm Me so trying bad, to like, get sarah point. to be a harsher <laughs> rater i'm like babe just rate it a three it's i okay. know i'm bad at like the in-betweens between like three and a four like i, I don't know how yeah. to choose which one i'm feeling but i have like book options and i thought that i okay. should show you and you could pick my next read because oh you did pick book so lovers fun. for me and i did read did it. you like that one i did okay slay because i remember last year when it came out and you were like i think i'll pick this up at some point i was like you need to pick it back up because i love charlie lastra i love <laughs> oh him yeah so it much. was really good i gave it four because i beat your in happy place i was just like yeah i think i ended ever. up i think i gave that one a five i don't know i think i'm still keeping it a five stars because i just love emily henry's books and i really like oh yeah it. it was really good um but just keep in mind that these are the, this is the book i'm gonna read with my wisdom teeth out okay so so i'm gonna be a little under the weather here Okay. okay not a quest like, over flames then don't show me that book no that's, it's still on my little cart <laughs> <laughs> okay i have like three okay this is the first one okay final I, offer okay final offer i okay. thought like maybe a romance might be easy i don't billionaire know billionaire with a actually, b guys have, yes i actually have more than three now that i'm okay looking. okay the naturals <laughs> okay this doesn't on my tbr technically but like it's my okay. highest contender because okay. the Her- inheritance games that she wrote was like so easy it's a fun book it's a short read and i guarantee you it has short chapters okay perfect and then i have lucy square book maggie moves on okay i don't i don't know why i, I won't choose that one okay <laughs> and then i mean i have a couple other ones but if you want me to show you all the other ones there's two yeah arch enemies okay this is one after renegades yeah. and i have last chance books i heard this wasn't really that good but the cover is cute okay i think that you should start off with the naturals because i think it's okay. going to be a short fun easy read it's a little bit of mystery twisty i've heard that it's like criminal minds but like teenage version so i think that you should go with that one and then i think you should go to the final offer okay 
Okay, I can okay. do that. Should I check the chapters okay. are short? Yeah. See if the chapters are short. Yeah. I love this, yeah. this woman. I love her short <laughs> chapters. <laughs> I love this woman. <laughs> right, I'm glad we I'm glad you helped me out. Thank you so much. Oh no, of course. Literally, what am I here for? <laughs> perfect okay Okay. now i will let everyone know the real reason we're here today (laughs) the what we're supposed to be doing in (laughs) so we were gonna do a themed technically this is gonna be a theme maybe just the second half is now themed but yeah no it's still gonna be a themed episode it's just that you guys got a little bit more chitty chatty at the beginning we haven't chatted that much this week that's why we had to go off a little we had to go off queen we did (laughs) queen um i posted on our story on bookmarked to give us your unpopular bookish opinions or your book hot takes and we are going to be reading some off me and destiny both went through them and screenshotted a few of our own to say to mm-hmm. each other and we'll give our own opinions on them how fun is that yeah. does that sound so good? much fun that sounds great sarah thank you so much okay <laughs> You're so okay, how, many did you, how many did you write down or screenshot oh i screenshotted a bunch because i just oh me too <laughs> in case in case like you take one for me <laughs> then i have like it's a possible <laughs> it is possible okay so you can go first because i went first last week okay <laughs> did you i don't remember yes because okay. we did the emojis and i said okay i'll go first okay great memory um thank you <laughs> <laughs> okay the first one says I will buy a book if I see a quote I like from it on Instagram. I've done that very many times. Oh, have you? Yes. But it's for me, it's TikTok. So it's not really, I mean, sometimes it's a quote, but sometimes it's like, if I see a, uh, like a scene, like like someone's like, when she gets kidnapped <laughs> like this is, i'm spitballing i'm spitballing this is not real but it's like when she gets kidnapped and he like burns down the world for her and like yeah. da, or like when he's about to kill her but then he finds out that they're mates i'm like oh what book is this <laughs> <laughs> i'm like oh i'm gonna eat that up yeah <laughs> let me go ahead and add that to my kindle unlimited tbr i have cause. i have two things for this one i think okay i'm the opposite if i scroll and i see a quote i'm not reading it i'm scrolling right past because <laughs> you think it's a spoiler not even a spoiler. I don't want to know anything that is written in that book. Yeah. Um, okay. Like if, I, but if I read the book and I see a quote people are posting, I'm like, this is fun. But also, I feel like quotes can be deceiving because that's one good quote in a, like a three, four hundred page book. Like yeah. I posted a quote of Cleo and Pratchett and Frankenstein on my store on my Instagram, and I DNF that book for right now. Yeah. But the quote was cute. Yeah. So sometimes it could be a little deceiving. I get what you mean about the book quotes because it's like. Yeah, I think for me, I yeah, just get scared. There's gonna be a spoiler somewhere, and then I'll, I'll literally cry if I get a book spoiled. I don't think for me it's quotes. I think for me it's the scenes, like when somebody's like, "This is like he's a hockey player, and like yeah. he doesn't want to be with her," or like they're like talking in secret. I get those on TikTok all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then I yeah. will literally add it to my TBR. I'm like, okay, yeah. great. Okay, my next one is fans should be able to have more input on book to screen adaptations. A hundred percent, because. I think that, okay, as an author, your hard work 100% got you there and 100% got people to read your book because your book is good. Okay, it's good enough to be like a book movie or whatever, people giving it hype. However, most of the time, when a book is giving hype, especially in the day of age that we live in, where it's either TikTok or YouTube or whatever, whatever the thing made it hyped, I think that fans should get a little bit more input on like casting and i just kind of feel like casting is like all fans really care about like yeah or like and like the lines. important scenes that you include yes like i, I want to like see this be more scene. Of a, yeah an interactive between like fans because we're the ones that are going to be watching it and we want to see our favorite books into yes. something and i will like, say that if i hate casting enough i will not be watching the adaptation mm-hmm. because i don't like the casting yeah <laughs> and you would think that i feel like authors like turning they want their books to like come yeah. to life so perfectly i guess it's like everyone that's on the team and working sometimes gets yeah all messed up but i think that we should have a say i do think that we should have a say which i think people thought like for example with the it ends with us i think people thought that like we were going to get a lot more like input and a lot of people wanted uh the girl who does the winx club show on netflix to be lily which i also was in agreement with and then she wasn't and they casted blake lively even though i love blake lively but 
Yeah, they took that the wrong way. I don't know. That's just, I don't know how that all ended up where it is. Did you see that it's coming out in 2024? Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. I still don't know if I'm going to watch it. <laughs> I have to. I need to see what they're what they've done. I feel like I'm going to. I haven't cringe. read that book in so long. I don't even know what like see, like scenes details are in that book except the big ones. Like I, it's been so long. They'll probably change a lot of it. So <laughs> <laughs> don't okay. even worry about it. Okay. Um, the only good Christina Lauren book is Love in Other Words. I, I'm going to say I agree because yeah. I just haven't loved another Christina Lauren book. I won't say that their books are bad. I just will say that I haven't thoroughly enjoyed a Christina Lauren book like I did love in other words. I'm trying to think of what other books by them I've read. I think I've only read the Honey Don't List because I oh. didn't love it. I have a few of their other ones, but yeah, I think love in other words. I could agree with that from what I've seen from what other people have said about their books. Love in other words is definitely the fan favorite. Yeah. I just don't think that there's been like a super um whatever book like that since love in yeah. other words by then they just, i just haven't they, thoroughly they did enjoyed it perfectly it. yeah okay um okay books being first released in hardcover is a scheme to make more money they're saying this because like i think they're saying like before like when you have to wait like a year or two for a paperback and a book to come out but a hardcover yeah. is released when a book is coming and out they're more they're expensive saying, yeah, they're more expensive. They think that it's a scheme. Yeah, because money. I guess I don't know enough about the publishing industry, so maybe somebody yeah. who's like into it can comment and like educate. But I guess I've just never understood it because like for example, in the UK, for most books, they just come out in paperback, but they're like a little bit bigger, like large print like paperbacks or they're just regular paperbacks and then they come out sometimes like in a regular like smaller one. So I literally was watching Rachel Catherine's vlog where she was literally talking about that. In like Australia? The, yeah, like Australia, but also like UK, like over in Europe, they get released in paperback yeah, instead of hardcover. The Alice Feeney arc I got is in paperback, like a bigger version. But in here, I think in America, when it comes out, it's going to be in hardcover. Yeah, that's what I mean. So I just that's don't so understand. I don't understand why, if they made a paperback of it. Why? Yeah, Maybe it's I don't an know. American publishing thing that they decide to do that. I do feel it might be about the money. Like, at the, I, yeah, I could, based I could on no it. facts, this is based purely on opinion. Um, I do feel like it's a money grab because, for example, like, Emily Henry's books have always just came out in paperback and then now all of a yeah, sudden Happy, Happy Place was coming out in hardcover. And I wonder, I guess the authors have no say because I think, I, I would feel like Emily Henry would be like, my readers probably want a paperback. Yeah, and I don't put that on, I don't put that on Emily Henry because, like, you know at the end of the day oh, yeah. i have become aware of like when an author's under like a publishing company they don't have a whole lot of say with like what happens with that stuff with books so i guess it's just, i look at the publishing company when stuff like this happens and i'm like i just feel yeah. like you guys are trying to like milk more money out of this yeah i could see it it's a it's a whole thing it's a business i feel the same way about like when they do cover changes in the middle of a series or oh, like yeah. they the series is complete now all of a sudden we're doing cover changes it's because like maybe you're trying to spike those book sales for that series back yeah by changing the covers yeah that's like the lucy square books that are getting redone i'm now. looking at you sarah j mass with the throne of glass books <laughs> did i buy both old new covers yes well but if do you're I mid-series feel like it may have been a money grab i also <laughs> feel that way i think if it's a mid-series i think you should still have the original covers being sold and come out and like whatever's coming out like continue yes. that, but if you want to have new editions you could do it too did you hear that the Chestnut Spring series is no longer going to have the mirror covers? I did, but I think that Hopeless is going to have, and then they're done. Because Hopeless, it says, am I wrong? Is Hopeless not going to have one? I saw, like, I saw the summer, again, not a reliable source. I just saw people talking about it that they're no longer going to be doing the mirror covers. They're going to be like the... Wait, I need to look this up. Hold on. Because I have a... I I had like a screenshot of all of one like the dates they're gonna be gone okay yeah so flawless is gone july 4th flawless is gone you can't get flawless mirror covers anymore um hopeless it says is gone december 5th so i think it's coming out in um mirrors but like that's like the last book i guess after that oh, i need to pre-order you can't get then. them anymore because yeah, i could now, not do the last book in the series being a completely different cover oh no yeah i think that the the fifth one is going to have the cover but after that you can't get them after that date anymore yeah 
But what's the co- oh, like, it's the other cover that she has out right now. I forgot what it. They're like I see. I saw like is it like a UK cover though where it says like I don't know. it's kind of the plain color and it just says like the name on it. Yeah, I think so. I yeah, think it's like the newer ones. Yeah, I Which, love the mirror covers. They're my favorite. Yeah, I love the mirror covers, but um, if it's not broken, don't fix it at publishing companies. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> Which I feel like this kind of ties in with my unpopular opinion that I have screenshot next, which is books are way too expensive. And the reason I screenshotted this is because I became aware that whenever I talked about like how much a book, I think it was a video where I was like, oh yeah, this book was like this much money. And people were like, why are American books so expensive? Oh, like, oh yeah. I have a friend I talked to from the UK and she buys books for like three, four, however much, whatever, when she finds them for that much. And I'm like, I spend like... Yeah, I also don't know books, what the yeah. conversion is. I don't know if yeah. like it's kind of the same after conversion, no, but I feel like it's we're, not. We're expensive, but that's what I'm saying. I don't understand why. I there has to be a rhyme to reason about it, but like I just don't understand America. why books are like. <laughs> yeah I don't right know. <laughs> I I mean I understand the pricing because he has to go back to publishing and authors and everything, but like, yeah how does that work in other co- i don't know i don't understand anything about it <laughs> i just Either. know it's expensive it's an expensive hobby it really yeah, really is it is nah, you know what I'm, I'm okay i have no <laughs> other choice but to do it so there's oh yeah <laughs> i mean i could use a library but i said this in a video i filmed a video yesterday and i said i like to collect things therefore i yeah. will buy the books okay someone said Reading on a Kindle or screen doesn't count as true reading, and it ruins the sole purpose. <laughs> First and foremost, I want to ask if you're okay. <laughs> because me reading words, no matter what type of form... So, if I read a text on the screen, I'm not actually reading it, is the logic that I'm feeling, you know? like in, Yeah, I think she just in means a way, like reading, reading is just like, I don't supposed know. supposed to be like on a physical book. Yeah, like you're reading, you're sitting down with a book. That is an extremely hot take, and it's wrong. <laughs> that is a really, that's a really intense hot take, and I feel like that's such like a old age like books yeah. only. Like I feel like when Kindles first came out, people were probably like, "This is not reading." Yeah, which is just wild because, like, honestly, I even sometimes tell people like, because obviously, like, no one, a lot of people don't buy the amount of books that I do. Like, and <laughs> I won't even include Sarah in this because I just buy a lot of books because, like I said, I like to collect them. So I always recommend a Kindle or even if you don't want to buy a Kindle, if you get Kindle Unlimited on your phone and you pay the $12 a month and you get so many Kindle Unlimited books. Um, and it's fine because you're still reading the books. You're still reading the oh, words yeah. and whatever. You can also you go to the library. Like, libraries have all these yeah. books. You can take them bring them back you don't have to keep them in your bookshelves which but i saw I mean, another like, one i didn't screenshot it but the people should use their libraries more and i know that i should but i like to keep my books like in a collection i feel like if you're not yeah. like a collector collector type of person libraries are like the perfect but i also think that you do. should use libraries oh. because libraries are like a <laughs> oh yeah libraries are definitely useful but in this sense of being like reading on a screen is not real reading like sometimes like like people can't go out and like buy books or maybe there's not a library yeah. near them so they or maybe they just don't like going to the library they don't have to you don't have to books so should be accessible to everyone yes so it is reading you heard it here first <laughs> anyway um this one says you don't have to read all the books in the standalone series to get to the one you want to read which i feel like can be a hot take depending on the series that you're talking about because this is talking about like for example, if we were talking about the Chestnut Spring series, is it said in writing that you have to read like flawless, then heartless, yeah. then powerless, then like reckless? No, you don't have to. My thing is, in my brain, I have to. I was just going to say, my brain won't let me go to the third book first. No, but like, then it's not again, happening. I did do that for, I read a book last year called Always Only You, which is a hockey romance. And I'm pretty sure it's the second book in that bergman brothers series i didn't read the first book i just pick up the oh, second I I, book yeah i did that with the love wager actually i didn't read mr wrong number first yeah and it's yeah. like with books but like that know. it's just really it's like a it's a personal thing it's just kind of like yeah. with the dream then billionaire series i'm not picking up the final offer then reading like um i mean i'm not picking up 
yeah the final offer then reading the fine print then reading yeah um, i think just knowing after reading the third one if you want to go back to the first one like you're going to see that couple in that book like you're gonna yeah see more of them and then go back and see how they started i guess it's interesting to go backwards too if you wanted but also i I can't i just i also don't think i can do it because i like majority of these series like for example the dream land billionaire series i was reading that as the books were coming out like the series wasn't completed yet so i really didn't have a choice other than to read it in order because like i read fine print and then um terms conditions came out then i read that one then i read the final offer like you know but yeah. I don't like you don't have to. It's really just personal choice. I'm not gonna like shame somebody for like picking up oh, terms yeah. and conditions and then not reading yeah, the fine I print. They, I think someone asked me my favorite in the Chestnut Springs and I told her the third one. And I think they, they were like, I just wanna read I just wanna read one of them. I was like, Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that was my favorite. But you can. <laughs> yeah, you can get indeed do that. Okay. Reading three books at the same time is better than just one book. <laughs> this is you right now. Can you confirm or deny? <laughs> I I do think in certain circumstances I mean I think it's good because for example like I'm one of the books is a reread so whenever I want to feel that sense of comfort I will pick up that book and reread the book and then one of them is for a video and one of them is just for enjoyment obviously this isn't the sense for everybody because not everybody is like yeah you're getting different things in a job but then again like say you're reading a fantasy book but it's a long fantasy book so you want to take a break and read a rom-com or a romance but then you also want to be reading like a non-fiction book like I've done that in the past too where I'm reading different things and I've kind of started to do that um i I feel like i can only do that if it's different genres of books because if i'm reading two romances you're taking too far out of the story the characters like that like i have to it has to be different genres but i do think that it's and i think it's fun because it also feels like you're reading more books in a weird way yeah (laughs) Yeah. even though you're kind of not i don't know but um mine is one that really (laughs) this is gonna be hard for me to say um, someone said that Rezand is kind of toxic and they put, especially in A Court of Silver Flames, which we won't touch because Sarah hasn't read that book yet. Um, no, that's what I was about to say. They have different perceptions yes. of each other. Oh my God. That is exactly what I was about to say. I was about to say, I'm not going to talk a lot about A Court of Silver Flames because sarah hasn't read it but obviously when Rezand and nesta already have animosity between them and you go from yeah. Feyre's book's point of view where obviously Feyre is in love with Rezand, and then you go to nesta's pov where yeah, she's gonna be a different kind of person and especially in the beginning she's miserable she wants to make other people miserable that's just the truth um and of course she's going to say how much that she hates Rezand and say things about him that is negative and yeah. like whatever and what makes me so mad is when a court of silver flames came out i almost felt like sarah j mass almost kind of like ruined a little bit of reason's character by doing that by like writing it nessa's point of view because here's the thing let's let's take it back reason is the same guy who refused to tell Feyre that they were mates because he wanted her to always have the choice he didn't force her to live in valaris he didn't force her to do this because he always wanted it to be her choice everything that she did her choice wants her to be powerful wants her to be everything and he's toxic he's toxic yeah i think just you're getting more of him as like a real not a person because he's not a person but like as a real if he, <laughs> he were a like a real person compared to favorite's point of view they're in love with yeah. each other he, she's gonna see him with rose colored glasses like he's a real he's a different character in someone else's and eyes also let's keep in mind that Nesta, i haven't read the book though so i don't know well but it's also like let's keep in mind without being spoiler for sarah that nesta also has treated Feyre very, very badly. And obviously, Rezand and Feyre are literally, like, forever. And so, he's going to be upset in whatever with Nesta after the behavior that he has repeatedly, that she's repeatedly shown Feyre. Like, obviously, he's not going to be like, oh, I love Nesta. And, like, we're yeah. like this. Like, he's going to be yeah, like, it makes sense why it's switched up. Yeah, I'm like, you guys just need... <laughs> anyway, that was my <laughs> rant. That was my 15th rant of the episode. <laughs> okay. This one says, where did it go? Reading a hyped up book destroys the reading experience or rating. Destroys is in quotes. Destroys it. So, I guess I don't understand. Like they're saying like reading a hyped up book. Is it because I you already it, have expectations going into yeah, it? Yeah, I think they're saying that since you've seen so much of it. It destroys into the it. feeling like, of reading it. Yeah, like compared to like picking up a book on your own, like you're kind yeah. of like a blank slate, your own ratings and stuff, but like knowing some people give it five stars. That's like me with Fourth Wing. I think that's yeah. why I won't read it. <laughs> I 
mean, yeah, <laughs> it's scary to go into a book that's extremely hyped because you have already set expectations for yourself for reading it, expectations yeah. for the book, and it is just a hard thing. But here's the thing: like, it people are never going to stop hyping up books because when somebody oh, yeah. loves a book they want to scream it from the mountaintops that they love it and it gets other people to like it, it gets the author out there it does yeah. just suck it's just something that comes with it like where you're kind of scared to read a book because it is hyped yeah. i do agree though that's that it does kind of I, destroy it yeah and that's why i try to stay away from literally anything i can before going into a book so that i can have my own yeah. opinion and then such a slay such a slay so <laughs> um i'm trying to find it books are so much better with dual pov i agree i I agree which i saw some people say that they don't like dual pov because like the guy doesn't actually think like that that's the point (laughs) (laughs) we We wish yeah i think that i like dual point of view but the thing is i think like if we're talking about like fantasy books i like how the first one is usually just the main girl because then you realize more about the guys you go on and then the second yeah. book you get like two point of views because you're like oh this is how they are yeah because you kind of like you can't be in both point of view sometimes in a fantasy because they're like someone's being tricked or betrayed and you would know being in their point of view yeah but do a point of view in a romance i need it i would i would need it oh no i need it but like for example always tying everything back to akatar i know it's annoying <laughs> but i wish so bad we would have got Rezan's point of view oh, yeah. sprinkled in there. Like I wish so bad. I literally read AO3 fan fiction of Rezan's yeah, point of view. The second book should have been what He got like a, he got a chapter in his point of view. I th- it's an Akamoff and then I don't remember if he got one in Akawar, but I just wish so bad that yeah. he would have got one. But I understand that the series is about the sisters, so it's like yeah. who really cares? I just but. think dual point of view kind of just makes sense for some books. Oh wait, no, but then again, we did get Cassian's point of view all throughout a court of Silver Flames, so I wish. Oh, I do you? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, but it's oh, like wait. third person. Yeah, I did read. I read like a few pages of that. Book. Yeah, where it's like you can tell you're in his yeah point of view but it's just i literally forgot charlie was in here and that just scared the crap out of me to hear her move <laughs> oh, wait, i have one that like hurts to read okay for you or for me for you for both of us it's not the, oh, fir- the first one that i saw when i read oh, when the answers <laughs> it just said, said bj yeah that was just it. bj <laughs> what about it babe <laughs> we know he's a, okay anyway this one says gus from beach reed is a walking red flag doesn't that hurt oh don't say that about gus I'm he's such a baby because <laughs> i'm not one to use trauma as an excuse like i hate when books do that like when the guy's just like a piece of crap and they're like it's because of my traumatic past it's like you don't have to be that way but i don't but gus wasn't yeah, gus was, was just like more that. closed off he wasn't even like rude yeah. He was just. Uh, I don't think he's a walking red flag. That's I need, my opinion. I need more. I need more information on that one. Yeah, I need to know why you thought that. Sometimes I want to read tr- a trashy one or two star book. It's like eating Little Caesars. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that and I laughed. Oh, it was so funny. Like sometimes Is she you mean want. Like, I think she said like sometimes you just want a bad book just because it's bad and. Yeah, like a book that you see that people are like, "Wow, this is bad." Like, I yeah, just you don't. just want to read a bad book. I relate to that because I watched a woman's video where she did like a reading the most like out of pocket dark romances and like one of them was Credence by Penelope Douglas and I've said that I would never read another one of their books again just not my cup of tea nothing against them and nothing against their work I just don't enjoy it and um also that doesn't make these a bad book by the way I also just want to say that because people interpret somebody saying i didn't like this book that does not mean that a book is bad because it's just my it's opinion, opinion that i didn't I like think it. that's why it gets all jam- like yeah scrambled around because um, it's just subjective yeah and she made a video and she read that book and she like explained the whole entire plot and i was like that is wild and i'm like i just kind of want to read it just to be like yeah that's, it's something no, like that. that's that's why i want to read haunting and hunting adeline because i just feel like it will be like that where i'm just like this is insane like this yeah. is insane i can't believe somebody wrote I about think, this i always said i wouldn't read credence but i think i would one day just to see you just to see oh my god yeah like why not i want to make a video on haunting and hunting adeline and i just want to like make it a full spoiler and maybe like in disbelief i like the things that are happening 
yeah on the page i just feel like that's fun it's entertaining okay. yeah and just because it's not our cup of tea doesn't mean it's not someone else's like i saw a yeah. tiktok the other day and the girl had tattoos for all these books and they were like haunting hunting adeline create like all these books that i don't like but like she loves them and it was like so cute to see and she i so love that for her i love that for her so much um okay. do you have any other ones yes i have a f- <laughs> actually have like a lot okay <laughs> have I have, I have you a couple. Have? okay this one says i think book ratings should stick to whole numbers and not decimals <gasps> oh my god wait i think i did i i think i screenshot that one i think book rate should, yeah i did okay um i think that the five star rating system is too small of a like one through five for all of the opinions i have is hard yeah I think like one th- i think 10 stars is the too far yeah i think I five about is to too say small that. so i think the so you have to go kind to of decimals helps. You gotta yeah. have to get to get some math in here because it's because it's hard. I understand that it's probably annoying, like especially when I do the two five seven five. But here's the thing: <laughs> I'm a very specific person when it comes to my opinions. Okay, yeah, they're gonna be heard, and I'm gonna have them. And when I read a book, I'm like, it's not a three, it's not a four, but it's yeah, also it's like, not a three and a half. So yeah. it's gotta be a three point two five. Like I'm yeah. not. I think I like it because it puts a specific rating on it, and it really makes me understand what type of yeah, book I it think is. You can, you can tell what you feel about the book when you give like a point, whatever rating, because you can you can think now. Okay, it's not a four star, but it's not like three. Like there's something in there that she liked. Yes, you know. And so it's like, especially when you go between a four and a five, like you cannot just give. Well, at least personally, I can't just give five stars. But sometimes it's like no. four is too low. You gotta give like a four and a half. Like it's a great book. Yes. But no, I hundred percent think that it's great to have the decimal system because it helps yeah. my brain. Yeah, not everyone has to use it, but I think no. that it's fun. Don't it use helps. it if you don't wanna. And I think that Goodreads should really implement this. And I know everyone says Storygraph, but I just am so into Goodreads that I can't use Storygraph. But Storygraph is so hard Good. to navigate. I cannot do it. I tried to it. connect my Goodreads to Storygraph and nothing was working and I'm not making another account and I got overwhelmed. No. So Shout story graph is very hard to navigate i don't know what's going yeah. on with that yeah i didn't really i didn't really enjoy that um what do i have this one was interesting i think just because i okay let me read it first bookmarks that don't match the vibe of the <laughs> cover ruin the reading experience i read that one i didn't really understand it like I, i'm not a bookmark really i mean i'll use bookmarks but i'm usually throwing a pen in there throwing a receipt in there a paper towel like i will use anything to hold my place in a book earer till i die I, I do dog ear i will I'll dog ear um i will dog but I think ear if book. you're a bookmark girly I there's probably see like a would, method to it yeah there's a method you know? to the madness like for match everything the bookmark to the book yeah which i, I love i that. can understand I love that a lot if like you were looking at the book and the bookmark didn't match the vibe and you're just kind of like but yeah, also yeah. like you throw the bookmark in there pick wisely you're That's in like control magnolia, yeah the magnolia parks book i have i will only use my magnolia parks bookmarks that i have like in it <laughs> that one's themed for me yeah um i have this one and this one says i think the book talk community is toxic but i still want to be on it which i feel like is <laughs> so, so sad. Real. no but it's also so sad because this kind of ties into what i was saying where it's I feel like I've seen so much judgment, like so much judgment in a community where we're just all reading silly little books. They're just silly little books, y'all. Why are we getting so... But what makes it like TikTok? Like why is TikTok the one that's... Like, wh- I will YouTube tell you is this. not like this. Instagram's not like, why is TikTok the toxic? It's because when you go through TikTok, say it's not book talk. I have said this so many times. TikTok is such a hateful place genuinely go to the comments and see comments on people's looks what they're doing what they're enjoying like people just nitpicking people to death on tiktok yeah and i also feel like the algorithm on tiktok is different like youtube isn't going to re- recommend you a video that like you wouldn't click on but yeah. on tiktok any video could land on your for you page oh, even yeah. though it is like for you but like yes. still i think that it could land on the wrong one <laughs> no and when- even if it does like i have been in that situation where say it's like somebody slandering which also it could be just because they see somebody talking about fourth wing and i really liked it and somebody's like slandering it they're still talking about fourth wing so the algorithm's still going to recommend that to me like whatever and guess what i do i just scroll i don't feel the need to ever comment negatively on somebody's post i don't feel the need to let somebody know that i disagree with them i don't it like and this is something that genuinely grinds my gears this is 
grinds my gears on tiktok and i i i've been trying to post more on there just because i spend a lot of time on tiktok and i think it's fun to post little funny videos so i like try to do that sometimes but i also don't like it because sometimes when i'll be like oh i loved this book and somebody feels the need to comment and go i hated that book it's like read yeah. the room read the yeah. room i, I will say how much i love it oh yeah but i will say i've seen like when i'm scrolling a few people like make their first book talk video and then i click on the comments it's like welcome like we're so happy to have yes. you and like they'll say like really yes. sweet stuff so like if you're ever thinking of going on book talk i'd say like do it if you ever see negative stuff just block it takes two seconds yeah. to block someone or just, i will block anyone yeah i won't I've, actually but I've, i have i've encountered well what i do is that i if i encounter a book talker or somebody that i just kind of notice that is a little bit more I, I, I want to say it tries to get views through being hateful, if you know what I mean. Like, they purposely keep making videos because those videos, unfortunately, do get a lot of traction of people slandering an author, slandering a book, and just the same way that like if I made a video and I was like oh my favorite books and I'm like oh I should make another video of my favorite books obviously somebody's going to do that same thing if they're being hateful and they see that Mm -hmm. they're getting a lot of traction they're going to make another hateful video I will put that I'm not interested in seeing their content anymore I won't block them but I'll just let the algorithm know that hey I'm not interested in seeing this this isn't something that I want yeah and um because in, in anything, you're going to have positive and negatives in life. It, there's going to be positive people in a community. There's going to be negative people in a community. And that's just how life is. But um, I do think that book talk can be extremely, extremely toxic because of the platform that it's on. Because it is normalized to be very mean and very hateful on there. And even be like passive aggressive and just all these different things. Yeah, it's interesting. It's always the comments, though. It's like the comments the people yeah. will say anything i guess because they like they won't put a picture they don't have any posts or anything so they think that they can comment whatever they want but they forget that like it's real people behind the camera like you're slandering yes. an author so a real person wrote that book and that's uh. the thing too where there's a f- <laughs> i understand if an author has done something that is very problematic it's not good that's different but like just because you don't like an ally hazelwood book does not mean that that gives you the right to slander ally hazelwood that just means that you don't like her book and keep it at that. Don't yeah. say that it's a bad book just because you didn't like it doesn't make it a bad book. Sorry to burst some of your guys' bubbles. Just because you guys don't like it doesn't mean it's not a bad book. And also, that author has put in hours and months of time creating a piece of work they're proud of and put out into the universe. Um, it's just so it's so mean to slander an author. Like It's so, so mean. And I feel like I see that on TikTok. Like, I don't see that a lot on YouTube. I see it a lot on TikTok. Yeah, I don't see it really on YouTube. I've seen, yeah, mostly on TikTok. And there's toxic parts of everything. I will say if you do want to be in the book community, I would say BookTube and Bookstagram. And uh, there's there are so many supportive people on Book Talk. I yeah. get I tags in a lot of Book Talk videos of sweet sweet creators. There are a lot of sweet creators that you can yeah, find but just on know there. That it's more negative probably on TikTok. Yeah, just know that you are going to encounter a lot of negativity. But please either block. Feel free to block. That's fine. Feel free oh, to yeah. block. Um, also, just let the algorithm know that you're not interested in seeing that type of content and yeah. enjoy it because there are a lot of nice and sweet people on that community. And it is a good community to be in once you kind of cipher through all of the negativity that can be yes. on it. Did I show you with my cracked phone? Not to like get off topic. Do you want to see this? Is it cracked? <gasps> How'd you do that? I don't know. I, me and Chris were at dinner yesterday. I just forgot to tell you because we got this together. And I flipped over my phone to hand to him and I was like, uh, the, the whole back of my phone is cracked. Everything. You know how the, you know, if you were wearing a case to five phone case thank you so much to case five for sponsoring today's phone <laughs> could I you know <laughs> well the case to five cases that i have are for my old phone and i never ended up getting new ones when i got the new phone i just this is still the verizon one from when we were at verizon yeah getting this. <laughs> so don't get a verizon phone if you drop your phone a lot so um anyway that, that's heartbreaking I, I had to show you that <laughs> i'm actually um, heartbroken that our you. phone is cracked it's our phone it is our phone. You went through the whole thing with me. Okay. I don't like special editions of books because I'm genuinely scared to touch them and read them. That's valid. I mean, uh, well, I think with my special editions, I don't think I will 
go in and annotate and like go through them like i definitely want them on my shelves as like a a showing of how pretty this book is and how much i love this book but i still would get them but if you're not like a collector you don't want it on your shelf i don't think it yeah can do stuff or read it there's no i think point, it, yeah I, I think it goes down to if you're a collector because i i have turned into a collector i used to be somebody that didn't understand like why somebody wanted like five me different too. copies of the same book i was always and like that when the new addicted covers came out i was like i don't yeah. need them like i don't really and then i ended up wanting yeah them. and then um like Akatar Throne of Glass, like I want all of the different copies that are out there of those books. And it's just because when you love something so much and you become a collector of sorts, you want to collect a bunch of different editions and copies and everything like that. And yeah. I don't read my special editions. Like for example, I have the original Akatar covers. I will never annotate or read through those. They're just two halves yeah. of collector's piece. If and I am annotating the hard covers that I got for the actor series, but that's just because if I want to go back and find a quote, I have those annotated like that. But if I want to just reread the actor series, I will just pick up my paperbacks, my just oh, yeah. good old paperbacks yeah. and read them. I just think loving a book and then seeing all the different like editions is so fun because they make them so pretty. And like having them together, like I have yeah. so many pretty ones. And you can display them in different ways. I really enjoy. Yeah. Get into it, y'all. Get into it. <laughs> Get into it. <laughs> Um, I have this one. I screenshot it because I've ranted about this so many times where it says TikTok has ruined so many books for me because people don't put a spoiler warning. Can we talk about it? Yeah, oh, I almost saw one my this morning. God. It was a fourth wing one too. And I read the caption. I don't really read captions like first, but I read the caption first and it said whatever fourth thing and I scrolled so quick and I almost spoiled the book for myself really well, quick. No. And like I made an Akatar uh tiktok and i put like akatar spoiler and even though it was like honestly out of context and you wouldn't have been able to like put two and two together what it was i still was like if you haven't read the actor series like this like mm -hmm. because do you know how many times people like for example with reckless i got it what okay if you haven't read reckless skip um and i'll put it on the screen of the time sorry i don't know the time <laughs> uh for audio listeners but i'm um, just skip ahead like 40 seconds to be safe i don't know um i got it spoiled for me that like she got pregnant and had a baby with him and like the manager uh like kept that from him oh what yes someone was a TikTok huge, about that yes that's only it, at the end of the book the tiktok is like whenever his manager hides and i was like oh that's not cool it's not cool when you spoil books for people people don't want to know everything about a book going before going into it who wants or, the whole plot to a spoiled one time i did fun I, out. I saw a girl make a tiktok and she spoiled the ending the plot twist of love and other words literally just yeah, i've seen those before recommended it and was like whenever blah 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 happens and i was like I really, I think you I can't recommend a book by the plot twist. You can't no. do that. Recommend no. it by the trope and maybe like the no, summary on the back. No, recommend it like, that's by it. the trope in like a two sentence summary, guys. Yeah. Or Post if you're going to do you it. Want, but not the plot twists. If you're going to do it, put a spoiler warning. Do you know how many, or like Binding 13, people will post the <laughs> end of Binding 13 mm -hmm. as the recommendation. And I'm like, guys. You even stop. if you even if you don't think it's spoiling just put a little just in case people don't want to know no, which put a that's little what I'm spoiler saying. warning like people when i did the actor tiktok i was like actor spoiler even though it wasn't really a spoiler i was still like hey by the way in case you haven't read it and don't want to know anything just skip mm -hmm. like yeah just think about it think about others <laughs> think think about others when you do things <laughs> i don't the other ones i have are just like they're not like i feel like we've talked about it too much I okay like we can rapid fire through so i have like a bunch left okay we can just wrap it for it yeah. um first of all we have i do not like the summer i turn pretty books but love the show i have to say that in a way i agree i think i rated so the summer valid. i turned pretty four i rated the second book like a two and a half and yeah, then i rated books, the third book like a two like yeah they're not like great books they're nostalgic and they're very ya yes. it's just the whole like now world of summer i turned pretty is really fun with the show and i think the show is like phenomenal i think they did and a great job yeah, i don't hate the book but i do think that this is an instance where the tv show is better than the books oh, yeah after i watched I, the first scene i was like definitely i love it and it holds a special place in my heart i do kind yeah. of agree with that yeah. um grumpy sunshine is not it half the time the grumpy guy is just an asshole lol yeah i mean sometimes it's just their personality they're not like a golden retriever type of type of well, guy but but that's not like grumpy i would call it more like 
just a little closed off like I like when the guy's like closed off and isn't just yeah. like out there but yeah, I, I, I have read grumpy sunshines where the dude is literally just like the worst human on the planet mm-hmm. and then they're like oh, but I can't help but fall in love with him I'm like if this was real life which I understand <laughs> listen romance doesn't need to be realistic that's the reason that I'm reading it but also I'm like if I'm putting myself in these shoes I would be turning on my heel as fast as I could and walking yeah. away from that man yeah but yeah um young adult romances majority of the time over adult romances um i don't think i really connect with them i so it's like but i don't i don't know i don't know i don't like adult rom-coms if i want to read a rom-com i will read a young adult because they're a lot more angsty and it reminds me of being in high school and being in love in high school and like it's cute but if i want like like i love like chestnut springs i love lucy score i love like the dream of billionaires like i love reading those type of series over a young adult i think it just depends on you as a reader wherever you are in life is what kind of romance you probably like and that's another thing too like i feel like i'm an adult so i like reading about adults like having yeah. jobs and i like, like to connect with my books and i think it's just hard yeah. connecting with the high school romance now I don't know. yeah but when i'm feeling a little nostalgic i do like to pick yeah. it up like better yeah, than the fun. movies i think is so cute but um someone said having fun while reading does not equal a good book yeah i agree i think I, a book could be fun like reading it and the storyline could be fun but it may not be your favorite book but you had fun reading it <laughs> I still think it makes it a good book, though. Like, if I had fun reading a book, it doesn't do that. Then it's not a bad book to me. Well, not that it's a bad book, but it might not be your favorite book. No, like, but this person was saying, like, it doesn't mean it's a good book. I, it doesn't mean, like, it's my favorite, but I still think that it has to be a good book if I had at least fun yeah. reading it. Yeah, that's true. Because if I, like, genuinely think a book is bad, I had no fun reading it. I did not yeah. enjoy my time at all. But, like, I've said that so many times. Usually a book is a three star for me if I had a fun time reading it. I'm like, if yeah, I had a good time I mean. reading it, I'll give it a three. Yeah. Or maybe a, a two and a half. <laughs> maybe <laughs> 2.75. Sorry for those of you who hate the decimals, but yeah. Um, this next one says, hate reading a book is dumb. I 100% agree if you What's know hate? like it's like when you know you either hate an author or you know you're gonna hate the book and you read it anyway knowing that you're gonna rate it low why would you do that <laughs> no but people do this for example i've seen so many youtubers that have stated how much they hate colleen hoover oh. or know that they hate like the actor series to read it just yeah. to slander it it's going back to me saying so that like sad if you hate something why are you making a video about hating it like you're entitled to your opinion but at that point when you're hate reading a book knowing that you absolutely hate it it just yeah, is such make a negative that, yeah and the people that like that book are not going to feel good after seeing that <laughs> no and it's and that's another thing it's like i understand that there are people in my audience and i feel bad because like there's a difference between me sitting down for a wrap-up and going i didn't like this book i didn't enjoy the trope i didn't enjoy the writing that's how it is i will never be like this is a terrible book unless that there's like certain things that i feel like does make the oh, book yeah. terrible but you will never catch me like for example how i said i'm probably never going to read another penelope douglas book again you will never catch me hate reading penelope douglas's books and then making a video of me hate ranting about her books yeah it's just it just doesn't negative. need to be out there it doesn't need yeah. to be out there and i understand some people would be like well it's their opinion but at some point we need to separate having an opinion versus being hateful and doing it for views and there yeah, you can I not it. like a book but you can also just be like i can see how other people would like this book yes. and other people shouldn't and read it but just because i don't like it no yeah Didn't. so those are all of our yeah. unpopular opinions those are <sighs> us reacting to yours and giving ours so you got I'm s- yeah i'm scared why i don't know i'm scared i'm scared people are going to come for me for my opinions no these they're are my opinions. opinions and i want to say my this that if you guys it's my opinion <laughs> that's us right now to you guys but i do want to say this disclaimer even though i hate disclaimers i don't want to have to make a disclaimer but i will make one that if you disagree with me that's okay if i disagreed with you that's also okay i will always respect somebody's opinion and respect that you feel that way i just respectfully don't feel the same and that's okay we don't have to hate each other we can just respect each other's opinions it is about silly little books at the end of the day this is not like peace and love 
peace and love i love every single one of you guys even if we don't agree on certain things and i love to still see your comments and see why maybe you think singing is awesome and why you love alex volkov <laughs> i will still i like to still read people like even though i don't necessarily feel that way i still love to see people be passionate about something oh yeah and every why time they I, have a certain stance yeah whenever i read a book either a five or a one i'll go into goodreads and see like the opposite and see yeah. why people liked it or why people didn't i love seeing everyone's opinions like it's and fun. i'm never like you're full-blown wrong except for earlier when somebody did say that like reading on a kindle isn't reading i did say that you're wrong and i'm sorry it's all opinions it's crazy how we can all read the same book and all have a different opinion on it and that's what makes us life human is beings. crazy and life is beautiful and being a human being is beautiful because you are all so different in your own way and we all carry our own opinions with us isn't that so crazy we all have our own opinions life life is crazy if we all had the same opinions life would be so boring and useless <laughs> so Preach. thank you guys Preach. so much for listening to today's episode thank you we thank hope you for you sending enjoyed. in your stuff yeah thank you for sending in your stuff thank you for being a part of the bookmarked community don't forget that thank if you, you are listening on spotify leave us a rating it's the same thing with apple podcast if you guys are not subscribed to the youtube go ahead and go ahead and subscribe babe why not subscribe why why aren't you subscribed yet is the real question <laughs> and uh, go ahead and give a watch over on the youtube channel we appreciate you guys always tuning in and uh we'll we'll hear you guys you you guys will hear us next week <laughs> we'll talk to you next week <laughs> everybody wish sarah a good wisdom teeth oh, removal yeah. and that she heals so quickly nervous. Thank you so much. Everyone go everyone go send juice. Sarah love because it's the day after she got her wisdom teeth when this comes out. So everyone go send her some love <laughs> and fast Thank recoveries you. and get well soon. Thank you. We'll everyone. see ya. <laughs> love you. Bye. Bye.